I kicked my pregnant girlfriend out of the house. Plus update. Original post. So I 27 male have been together with my girlfriend 26 female for almost 8 years. Our relationship was kinda rocky since I usually have to go on business trips to different countries once in a while and she's admitted she hates it since she's paranoid that I might be cheating on her and she's gotten cheated before in the past. I of course reassured many times that I wasn't, even to the point I was not drinking while on my trips, trying my best to avoid other female interaction, even calling and texting her anytime I was immediately free to text. She's also pregnant which I assume made her paranoia worse. Sometimes I'd even wake up to her calling me, crying on the phone because I didn't answer her texts within a minute. I still once again done everything to clear her suspicions about me, which made me kinda depressed knowing that she doesn't trust me fully enough. Last week Tuesday, I came back home early from my trip to surprise her, even buying big patch of flowers and tickets to a movie she'd been dying to see for a couple months, as well as buying her a ring since I've been wanting to pop the question for a while now. When I arrived back home, I saw a car that I wasn't familiar with parked in the driveway. I assumed it was her friend's car since one of them got her license nine months ago. As I opened the door to the house, I heard music blasting from our bedroom. I thought this was a bit strange since she doesn't like loud noise. As I came upstairs and entered the bedroom, I saw something I thought I'd never seen in a million years. My girlfriend riding some guy that I'd never seen before in my life. I'm not gonna go into details about what I'd done, but the guy ended up leaving the house after 15 or 20 minutes. Afterwards me and my girlfriend had a shouting match. She was accusing me of all sorts of things, like how I was never around much, I rarely took her date anymore, and that I was probably cheating on her while on my business trips. Which is a freaking lie considering I've always took her out somewhere when I came back from work, even when I was tired as heck. And her accusing me of cheating was a freaking lie, because I always showed her that I wasn't, even gave her all my social media passwords because I freaking loved her. I don't know why, but I just snapped, I packed all her belongings and threw them out into the cold rainy street, where she started screaming at me even more for doing that. My head was hurting from the anger that built up, and her screaming in my ear didn't help. Now, I don't condone what I did, and I of course regret it, but I just grabbed her and threw her out into the street where I screamed at her to not come back, because the locks would be changed. I slammed the door and called off work for two weeks due to a family emergency. All week I've just done nothing but drink myself to sleep, because I'm just so heartbroken. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. 1. Stop drinking. 2. Get an STD test. 3. Get a paternity test done. 4. Move on and find your purpose. 5. Separate finances. 6. Talk to a lawyer for any loose ends. 7. Inform families. 8. Change all your passwords. 9. When the baby is born, refuse signing the birth certificate till it is tested and confirmed to be yours. Sounds like all her suspicion was actually projection. Wouldn't doubt if that wasn't her first. I'd also demand a paternity test. Came here to say exactly that. Cheaters love to accuse their significant others of cheating. It's like their guilty conscience finds them out. Sorry this happened to you OP. Yep. After my ex talked on and on about how much he hated cheaters, only to cheat on me. Well, let's just say I learned to see people who talk about cheating a lot, or accuse a lot are typically cheaters. OP, I would make sure to see if she was actually pregnant first off. It would have been a way to trap you until she did actually get pregnant. If she is, then I would definitely get a paternity test, because there's a solid chance she did not know who the father is, and either way, was gonna pass the kid off as yours. I had a weird feeling about my ex for a while. Mostly because she was always glued to her phone texting, she didn't have a ton of friends, and she texted the way someone does their crush, and was always super secretive about her phone. I ended up being right. I know she hadn't cheated prior with the person I caught her with, because I know when they met was about a month prior to first time, but I suspect she did with others prior. She also talked a lot about cheating in such a weird way, like how common it is. It's like she was trying to justify it to herself. She admitted to cheating on her exes too, and not feeling bad because they were bad people. I asked if she would feel bad cheating on me. Her response was, I don't know, because I haven't done it. Some people are just freaking sleazy and selfish. Cheating while pregnant is crazy. Good luck. Gross as hell too if you ask me. If the affair partner has an STD, it could be passed to the infant during birth. I actually know someone whose boyfriend cheated on her while pregnant, gave her an STD, and the STD killed the baby before birth. Edit. Thank you everyone for the comments and private messaging me, I appreciate it a lot. I'm sorry if I can't reply to most of them, but thank you. I am currently getting therapy and have stopped drinking as of now.
We'll be posting an update soon. Now for the full update. Hi everyone, sorry for taking a while to post this update. I've been busy due to everything. Firstly, I'd like to start off by clearing off from things I noticed when reading some of the comments. F you to anyone who thinks I'm some predator. We were both born in the same year, just different months. I was born in May and she was born in December. Secondly, I'll admit I shouldn't have thrown her out into the streets, my anger doesn't excuse my behavior, and I'll admit I should have left to stay at a hotel or my parents for the week. For those wondering what happened between the man or the guy she was cheating on me with. He refused to leave and tried kicking me out of my house, which ultimately led to me and the guy having a fight. It only ended when my ex threatened to call the police and demanded the guy to leave, which he of course ended up doing. Thirdly, I'd like to reply to a comment saying that my story doesn't add up about the flowers, tickets and engagement ring. I had gotten the ring a month before I had left to go to the airport, as well as buying the available tickets to the movie online. The flowers I had also brought was from a nearby supermarket in the town I live in. If you have any more questions about this whole situation, I'd be happy to answer them. Now onto the update. If you didn't see my edit, I'm currently at the moment getting therapy because of her cheating on me, my anger, as well as my drinking. I didn't realize how bad it was until that night, and her cheating on me has been a wake-up call on my end. I'd also like to say that my ex has been calling and texting me non-stop begging for my forgiveness and that we can work things out. She's also been trying to gaslight me into letting her back into the house, saying all sorts of things like, you can't just throw your own kid and girlfriend out onto the streets. This baby is yours and you need to take full responsibility for it, all that BS. No way. I'm actually done. I should have called off the whole thing the minute she started acting all crazy. Today she also tried to break into my house, which I of course immediately told the police about, and she was detained for a couple hours until she was let go, not sure why she didn't get arrested. Her parents have also been breading me for kicking her out onto the streets, and she now has to live with them until she has enough money to get a place of her own. Once again, I will wholeheartedly admit that I shouldn't have put my hands on her and thrown her out onto the streets. I know it was wrong of me, and I take full responsibility of my actions. I'm currently looking for a new house in a different town at the time being, so I can get away from here. This place holds too many bad memories, and I just want to escape it all. Thank you all for the nice comments and DMs I received. I'm sorry if I couldn't reply to them, I was just not in the best mindset to, but I appreciate them a lot. I'm sorry if this isn't the update you guys wanted, but I just wanted to clear some things before leaving Reddit. Yes, I'll be getting a paternity test the minute that baby is born. And yes, I'm possibly looking to get a restraining order while I'm at it, just in case she tries pulling another stunt. Once again, I'm sorry if this isn't the update you wanted to hear, but I just wanted to get some things off my chest. Thank you to all of the people who reached out in DMs and gave me advice and kind words. I appreciate you all a lot, and I hope God rewards you in the future. Thank you and I love you all. If anything else happens, I'll be sure to update immediately. I wish you all the best. My dude, you still need to demand a paternity test. Whether the kid is yours or not, doesn't matter, you need to know. If she names you as the father, you'll be stuck on child support that you should only pay if the baby actually is yours. Yeah, I've told her that I'm not helping her in any way until that paternity test is done. If the kid is somehow mine, then I'll be getting a lawyer to make sure I get full custody. If she's that bad of a partner, then she'll be bad as a parent. This feels like one of those all too common situations where the cheating wife or girlfriend claims her husband is the father because she knows the biological father won't take any responsibility. If the kid is not yours, then I feel bad for them because the dad likely won't help in any way. She's trash. Be done with her for good. This is the update we wanted to hear. This was the best possible outcome. If it isn't yours, then you'll never see her cheating but again. But if it is yours, that is up to you now that you have a child. If the kid isn't mine, I hope the kid lives a good life man, honestly. She doesn't deserve to be a parent, not in her state anyways. What do you mean by not in her state? Has she had signs of emotional instability? Yeah, something like that. Her parents can kick rocks, they didn't have to walk in on their pregnant spouse riding some other person's ding dong. Considering your emotional state, I feel like throwing her pregnant butt and partner out was the right move. If the other dude was so concerned, he could have taken her back to his place instead of fighting to be able to stay at yours. Way better to have some time to recollect yourself, ignore them. I'm sure their views have been tainted by their daughter, who most likely didn't tell the whole truth out of shame. You got this, we believe in you. On to bigger and better things. Next story. My boyfriend is having a kid with someone else. No cheating. Original post. 
My boyfriend and I dated for two years before we amicably broke up for a year. It was my decision, my dad got diagnosed with some health problems, and I had to move back home to take care of him since it's just me and him now. The breakup was bad emotionally, as we were and still are, very much in love, but it wouldn't have been fair for either of us. I had no mind for a relationship, and he couldn't just abandon his job, family and stability, to come with me to the middle of nowhere. We kept talking, and the breakup lasted for a little more than a year. I knew he slept with other women, I slept with other men, there's nothing wrong about it as we weren't together. My dad got better, much much better, and I was able to come back to my life. My boyfriend and I got together right away, because we were still in love. I thought everything was over, but no. Two weeks ago his ex or whatnot, contacted him, and told him she was pregnant. She's like four months in, we got together two and a half months ago. She was sure it was his, but didn't talk sooner because she found out we got back together, and was scared. I can't even lie, I'm not happy for him. I see them talking about it, planning stuff, and I feel so freaking jealous. I don't think I can handle it to be honest, and every day that goes by, I'm sure I'll have to let this relationship go. My boyfriend has always wanted to be a father, and for a while I saw us marrying and having children. It seems like another dream I have to give up. It's been a messed up year, and it hurts my heart. I have no one to talk about it, because everyone thinks I should be happy for him. I'm freaking not. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Well, you really only have two options here. You either have to accept the fact that your boyfriend is going to have a baby with someone else, he is going to be in the baby's life, and he is going to spend time, money and attention for that baby. You will have to live with his baby mama being in your guy's life, and that's that. Or, you can leave and not deal with any of that. Either way, I think your feelings are valid, but at the end of the day, this is what life brought and it's your decision if you want to be a part of it. Yeah, I really get that. I guess I'm just mourning the life I wanted and thought I'd have for myself. I don't think I can do it, but he's still nervous and unsure. That's why I don't want to drop the bomb out of nowhere and don't know how to rip the band-aid off. I guess I'm just sad and lonely. This might sound cold, but if he's nervous and unsure right now, it might be the best time to exit his life as a romantic partner. If you stay in his life in order to support him during the pregnancy, you're gonna trap yourself. Because once he gets to a better, more stable place, you're not gonna want to leave and potentially set him back spiraling. The longer you wait, the harder it will be to leave. I also think so, that if I stay longer, I'll trap myself and I'll only get his hopes up. I guess I can't just be brave to let him go. It also scares me that he lied, and as soon as I leave, he gets with her. I've been in a situation where I stayed in a relationship longer than my better judgment told me I should. Trust me, you will regret it. I definitely get why it scares you that they might end up together if you leave. But if that's the case, then it's probably better to walk away anyway. Cause no matter what, they're having a child together. Raising their first child together. That's a pretty intimate relationship whether you're in the picture or not. It's better for you to chose to leave than be subjected to that when you know this isn't the life you want. You deserve to experience those things with your partner, not watch them experience it with someone else. I would just say this, unfortunately it's a deal breaker for you. I mean, I know what you're saying, and I would probably not want to deal with that. I also feel like you'll feel robbed of the first together, and that's a big deal. It's exciting to go through it with someone you love the first time. It feels incredibly special, and to know that would be off the table for you in one degree is hard. Be honest, tell him that, it's the truth. Ugh, the first. I've thought about it so much, and it does hurt my heart. Just seeing them sitting at the table talking about how to proceed was hard. I can't imagine what the rest will be like, I feel like freaking crying. Did they do a DNA test? How can he be 100% sure the baby is his? They have the appointment next week. The girl said she hasn't slept with anyone else. They're not planning a future life, just putting basic things straight, but he's happy and excited, and I can't do that for him. Now for the update. Pretty silly I guess. I'm in my apartment crying and about to watch freaking Megamind to have a laugh and he just texted me and said he's on his way with sushi and dessert. My heart breaks, I don't know how to let go. Very quick, as I see this going around. They didn't have unprotected fun and when we found out about her pregnancy, we both got tested and came back clean. He has an appointment next week for the paternity test. 